Hello everyone, I am Varlakshmi from Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering. Today I am going to talk on a topic, Cloud Computing in Healthcare. Contents are Introduction, Model Deployment of Cloud, Components of Cloud, Benefits of Cloud Computing in Healthcare, Cloud Computing Based Healthcare Services, Conclusion. Introduction. Here, healthcare, it refers to the whatever the services that are provided by the medical professionals to the public or the people so that they can promote or maintain or monitor their good health. And even in the today's global healthcare industry, it is growing so fast that even so that it can increase the quality or the efficiency or the cost effectiveness of the services. And this cloud computing applications they are very widespread that they are being used even in the healthcare industry and even during the last few years this cloud computing has been emerged as one of the most prominent information technology subject. This cloud computing it will offer the flexibility, scalability and the safety for the customers for whatever the services they want like storing or servicing or networking. And these cloud technologies, they offer some of the best solutions, like or some best services for providing a better medical services that can be easily and securely we can store them or share the medical information to improve the operational efficiency and streamline cost for the healthcare organizations. And even this technology, it will reduce the cost for consumers and the IT by improving the clinical outcomes and the quality of services for the patients. First of all, we have to know what is cloud computing. So this cloud computing means like storing or accessing the data and the programs on remote servers that are hosted on the internet instead of the computer's hard drive or a local server. This cloud computing is also referred to as an internet based computing. And this, uh, there is a model of deployment in cloud that are uh, public cloud, private cloud, hybrid cloud and community cloud. And when we come to the public cloud, as the name suggests itself, this public cloud is available to the general public and these resources are shared between all the users. And they are available to anyone, like from wherever they are, by using the internet, they can access to this data. And this public cloud deployment model is one of the most popular type of the cloud. Next, coming to the private cloud, in this uh, private cloud this uh, this uh, cloud is like one of the dedicated environment for one user or a customer only and there is no hardware sharing between of the any of the users this hardware or the whatever the data is there it will be only the person who is using it or the customers and this hybrid cloud in this hybrid cloud model here this infrastructure it consists of the mix of the different types of clouds like it may be a public and a private cloud or a private or a community cloud there is a hybrid there is a mix of the cloud that will allow for data and the application portability next coming to the community cloud in the community cloud model here this infrastructure is shared by multiple members or organizations and here these are joined together as a community and this sharing a specific common concerns like for examples it may be engagement safety acceptations expectations or compliance policy and considerations and this uh, infrastructure may be maintained controlled and exploited by a single or a multiple entities in the community components of cloud application this uh, this is one of the component and this can be any software or a platform which a client want to access then we have service this service component it will manage which type of a service we can access according to the client requirements and there are three cloud computing services those are like software as a service platform as a service and infrastructure as a service then we have a next component that is runtime cloud this will offer the execution and the runtime environment to the virtual machines next we have the storage and this is one of the most important one as it will provide a large amount of storage and capacity in the cloud to store and manage the data and infrastructure it offers the services on the host level network level and application level yet this cloud infrastructure it will include the hardware and software components like servers storage network devices virtualization software and various other storage resources that are needed to support the cloud computing model next is the management 
This component, it will manage the components like application, service, runtime, cloud, storage, infrastructure and other security matters in the backend. It also establishes the coordination between them. Next, we have security. Here, security in the backend refers to implementing different security mechanisms for the securing the cloud system, resources or the files and the infra infrastructure to the end user. Internet. Internet connection acts as a bridge or a medium between the front end and the back end. It allows you to establish the interaction and the communication between the front end and the back end. Benefits of cloud computing in healthcare. Like data storage capacity here, the healthcare organization they will be work they will work using the EHRs, patient portals, mobile apps, and the big data analytics. And these these all things these are having a very significant amount of information that has to be administered or has to be analyzed. And it is not possible for the most advanced equipments to manage all this data. So by using the cloud networking, medical practitioners they can use or they can keep that data off-site, eliminating the expensive and time-consuming tasks to maintain the hardware servers. And by next is uh, service scalability. Here, the cloud computing, it can be adjusted to expand or contact the storage of data and traffic according to the customer's requirements. Like the hospitals are able to adapt the technology for the peak seasons, like when it is a, as a cold and a flu season, the patient volume increases. So by this, it can expand its storage capacity uh, and it provides the services and avoid losing time and expense on recent equipment acquisitions or upgraded software. Next, we have the collaboration. This is uh, one of the essential one between the different doctors, departments and even the institutions. As we all in medical uh, organizations, there will be sharing of information between them. So this can be provide a great benefit as the information could be shareable or it can enable faster collaborative healthcare decision making. And next we have the artificial intelligence and machine learning. And here the cloud platform, it will take up or incorporate the AI and the ML in their services so they can assist in managing the massive amounts of data. And this healthcare organization, they may employ these tools for analyzing and responding their massive amount of non-structured data. Security and privacy, here the cloud-based systems they will offer a optimal security and privacy as many systems of where health insurance portability and accountability hacked compliant systems cloud computing based healthcare services here the cloud computing in healthcare it has been constantly transforming how the clinicians doctors hospital search facilities as well as the private institutions they provide a valuable and a cost effective care for the patients and even the healthcare has been, has been using a many new technologies to streamline processes or provide a new patient, new patient or care applications and ultimately deliver the improved healthcare services. And there are many of the healthcare services uh, that are based on cloud computing, but some of them are telehealth, clinical research, big data, cloud-based video services for telehealth services, mobile cloud computing, electronic medical record, healthcare information exchange and emergency medical services. Telehealth and like uh, remotely providing the medical services and institutions they'll be exchanging the ECG or pulse frequency, oxygen saturation, glycemia, non-invasive blood pressure, pathology cuts, CT scan and dermatologic camera. And this telehealth with the cloud computing has been developed voluntarily and these together, they together they offer a cost effective telehealth services for medical institutions. Next is clinical research. Here, medical uh, studies, these a majority of these medical studies, they have predicted on gathering the data from the patients occasionally. So this data has to be stored or we can store this data in our application programs using the database programs as a backend. And this data could be accessed by the scientists for research purposes through a centralized archived cloud. Data, big data analytics and distributed computing are two cloud-based techniques that can centralize computational and research tools. Next is a big data. And uh, as we all know in healthcare organizations, um, a huge volume of data are gathered every day or gathered or saved every day. 
this data is very crucial uh, this data is very crucial to make the decisions or provide appropriate care so this healthcare institutions what they are using they are using the cloud computing for saving on local hardware storage cost uh, and to share the ehrs between the facilities in different geographic areas next is cloud based video services for telehealth here this cloud video services they will enable what the video conferencing facilitate the inter institutional collaboration or set up a day doctor patient consultations and meetings they'll set up a virtual conference room and more using any hardware place or network there is no need to invest in more infrastructure with the already installed tele uh, telehealth device laptop phone ipad or pc the video could does it all the mobile cloud computing here this consists of combining the cloud computing mobile computing or a wifi network technology for providing one of the rich uh, computing experience for mobile workers uh, the idea is to uh, allow mobile rich appliances to run in multiple mobile devices that could be employed to enhance the patient results with the valuable services uh, and next is electronic medical record here this one uh, it's used for collecting the health information of an individual or population in the electronic form by this uh, storing information or uh, storing the health information of an individual it becomes very easy and one of the most important benefit of migrating these emrs to the cloud is that this patient health information they can be shared among various healthcare facilities clinical uh, partitioneries and others so they can facilitate timely and quality treatment for patients next is healthcare information exchange here it will enable the physicians or the nursing uh, nursing staffs or the medical care organization even the patients to access with the sharing of vital patients health data securely and next is emergency medical services here this cloud computing is also been incorporated into the into urgent care services systems that they are enabling a faster method for retrieving information in patients phr that is a personal health record or it can be a electronic health record so they can use this data this data can be used by the ambulance paramedics to decide what to do and how to handle the patient situation according to his or her previous treatment histories conclusion like the importance of cloud computing in healthcare services come from its ability to retrieve the patient data or disease diagnosis and the other medical areas in less time and at a lower cost and even the cloud computing for healthcare services did uh does not only improve the affordability of the healthcare services but it also helps countries to attain the equity in healthcare and the importance of designing a smart healthcare system by using cloud computing techniques is a trending topic in clinical science and it can be concluded that for designing a smart sensor integrated healthcare system an important investigation on the use of cloud computing needs to be conducted